we have been towing around this name, Toe Mosi, for way too long. Like this, and I was falling off the water like this. <laughs> we are like minimalistic hoarders. Let's change our story, let's change our life. We'll do it our way, our own design. So we have officially moved on board and we are out of the RV. The RV is up for sale. We have done a lot in the RV to try to get ready to go. Um, this was Carter's room and we did this little conversion here. We had a dresser in place and then we set it up with a mattress on top. So I'm probably gonna just leave that. And then in here, we've got a whole lot of stuff that we need to get uh, packed up today. My objective is to get the last of the stuff uh, loaded into the truck and taken to storage. And we need to pretty well get this emptied out and then we'll sort through it later. So we've been moved onto the boat now for about two and a half to three weeks, something like that. And I gotta say, even though we moved here from our RV, we are like minimalistic hoarders. What's your objective? to get rid of all this stuff that's sitting piled up in here and find places to put it. This is stuff we've loaded in here that we don't know where to put yet. And we have more is the problem. So I've got to organize. We're not ready is the problem. Our galley, we don't have our storage worked out or anything. It's just a disaster. So we to work on that I have today. got so much stuff that I need to go through and get rid of because we just don't have room for it on the boat here. And a lot of these videos are gonna be really packed full of stuff and clutter and it's gonna look kind of like a mess. You've seen us look like that before. We are definitely messy people. Sorry, you know, a lot of these channels look really great in the background. I know Jason and Nikki Wynn take a lot of pride. Do you all see that fish jump behind me? In the background, I know Jason and Nikki Wynn take a lot of pride. I'm finally getting started on a project that is long overdue. Our boat has been officially renamed and registered with the Coast Guard, and we have been towing around this name, Tow Mosi, for way too long. Prior to Tow Mosi, it's probably almost impossible for you to see, but it had a big O here and then a J and then a G, it was named Ojigwan. And I don't know what the significance of Ojigwan is, but uh, the previous, previous owners, two owners ago, uh, have retained that name and they now are running a company, I believe in Virginia, where they are uh, producing high-end racing catamaran yachts. So they're a, a builder and that's pretty cool. Um, so you can look them up, Ojigwan Yachts. So the people that bought the boat from them named it Tomosi. So we asked them, what does Tomosi mean? And I still don't really get it, but he said it's an inside joke. And he said Tomosi loosely translates from some Native American language to wet cat. And because cats don't like to be wet and you call a catamaran a cat, it's an uh, inside joke or something. Anyway, it doesn't fit us at all. So Tomosi is going away and uh, we are renaming her. So we're actually not going to have the name right there. The new name is going to go right here. What I need to do before we can rename her is we need to get this area clean and polished and ready to go to it, except the new decals. Are not alone in this world. You I'm are not alone. Every now and then, when I'm missing you, gets hard to bear. So damn much brings me to my knees. Um, it looks beautiful. I mean, this is an old boat. It's not perfect. It's got some blims, but it's turning it into a pretty mirrorish finish. I mean, when I the light reflects off of it, it's blinding. So it's good enough for me. Babe, I think, wow, it really looks nice. So our neighbor here in the marina 
just gave us this old pull tube that we think that we can use behind our dinghy. He said he's had it for like 20 years. His nieces and nephews used it and, um, and it's just been taking up space. So he thought maybe we could get some use out of it. And um, it, it also look that old though. He it also had new. no. It looks in good shape, really. Yeah. Um, he has the pump, and then the uh, tow cord out here. So we're gonna take it up on deck. We're gonna blow it up. He said I can't promise that it doesn't have any holes, but he didn't think there was any holes because when they deflated it last, it was fine. What do you guys think? Is it big enough? Yeah. Let's see. It's a big one. <laughs> and we got the tow rope with it too. Which looks like it's in excellent shape. We should probably make us a little bag or something to keep the tow rope in. We yeah. should have extra fabric, right? Yeah. yeah. I also yelled to my to the people in front to go as fast as you can, and I ended up regretting that very, very badly. <laughs> Thank, Thank you, you, Greg and Sandy. Sandy. Yeah. yeah. Oh no, it's a lighter. A lighter. It has a lighter plug-in. <laughs> what? It Ew. has a lighter plug-in. Oh. We have one of those inside. Doesn't work. I think. We don't have a, a 12 volt source ready anywhere. So. Hmm. All right. We paused. What did we do? Okay, so we got some wiring fixed. This I'm gonna have to spend at least a whole weekend, and if I say a weekend, that's probably gonna be two weeks going through the wiring and fixing things. But anyway, we've got an outlet working now. Um, one of the like cigarette lighter outlets. So, so, now you guys, I don't think you're gonna be able to sit on it while it's blowing up. I don't, I doubt yeah, that this has the power to do that. But let's try to get this going. I think it's gonna be a nice one. Uh-huh. I still think we should go slow for the first one since last time I bit my tongue so hard I thought I bit it off. Well, we're not going today. But, yeah. We'll have I alligators know. chasing us. Okay, everybody hop up. Let's see how it goes. Yeah. No power. Oh. Take three. Okay, Al, what do you think? You have I to think speak it's up. Done. You think it's done? Yeah. Okay. I was thinking the other way. So the what way? Up. Okay, let's we'll slip. Okay. Climb on, guys. Head this way. <laughs> yeah, where the handles are, your hands go. Oh my goodness, this is what I did at camp. I was like this, and I was falling off the water like this. <laughs> when I like go, when I tried to pull myself up. Okay, Carter. Yeah, pull, no, you can't hang like that. That's not how you ride a tube. Oh. Pull yourselves up like this. There's plenty of surface area for you guys to lay on, and that wet suit material will give you a little bit of traction there on your bellies, and the handles to hold on yeah, to. Yeah, just like that, that's how you stay on a And tube. it's scooped kind of like actually, a spoon. You can pull your head forward a little bit more. So, you, so your hands are down by your shoulders. That's how I ride a tube. The problem I had when I camp is when I keep in the water and it was dragging me with it. I'm going to grab one of those boats. Okay, Carter, go grab. Ella, grab. Grab? Grab? Pull. Pull? Pull, Ella, pull. I'm pulling! Thank you. What's my dart? Oh my goodness. I am making shades to go around our cockpit. It's a shade cloth I think made for pergolas. It has a 15 year warranty and we bought it off Amazon. Cora will put the link to it down below. Um, it's a little bit rough. I was When we bought it, I thought it would be like a, a smoother fabric, but it is a little rough, but it seems to work really well at blocking out the sun. There's the sun. So our boat came with the track already installed on the Bimini and a little bit down at the base for cockpit enclosure. So it's already there. We didn't have any idea what the stuff was that was sliding into it, but it looked like a strip that you sewed on. And then Corey found this on sale right. 
I don't remember what it's called, but it's made for these track systems. And it's a strip that you sew on to your enclosure. Another plug for a Sailrite machine. We're not sponsored, but let me just tell you, we bought this used, it's an older model, and it was worth every penny. It was still expensive, really expensive, but maybe, I think it was like half the price of the brand new one. Buying used is not a bad thing because we got so much stuff with this machine. So, so many supplies like just thread and all kinds of things that I'm using right now. So I'm using up the things that we got with it and I haven't spent a dime on sewing supplies yet. So it's working out. Hello, we can't feed the alligator. I'm not gonna feed the alligator, I'm gonna feed the turtle. There's two. another one. I don't know There's if we should feed them. turtles. There's two of them. Yes, but this alligator is watching. What? Alligator. There. I can't feed my turtles because of the alligator. <laughs> Do you want to go for a swim? No. <laughs> Absolutely not. Do you want to go for a swim further? No. Because there's an alligator bigger than that one in here and it's big enough. It's. Look, it's he's almost, looking at it's us. Big. Oh my goodness gracious. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> it's bigger than you. Like it's taller than you. No, there is one that's probably at least six foot long in here. Yeah. Yeah. It's huge. We saw one. It is huge. So we actually got into a big conversation the other day and Ella said she didn't want to get in the water because it could bite her leg off. And I said, no, 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 Ella, you're mistaking. You're confusing sharks for alligators. Sharks will bite your leg off. Alligators will grab a hold of you, pull you underwater and do a death roll. That's worse. <laughs> <laughs> Let's change our story, let's change our life We'll do it our way, our 